Media Channel Shorts, commentary on media trends for those on the go. As if Facebook hasn't had enough scandal recently in the news, this latest bombshell is continuing to hurt the social media giant's reputation. A UK parliamentary committee has recently released a cache of the internal confidential Facebook-related documents, 250 to be exact, that exposes how shady Mark Zuckerberg and his team really are. The documents came from a software firm called 643 that is presently in litigation with Facebook. Several of the more disturbing issues summarized by Damien Collins, who is a current member of the UK Parliament, at Facebook has allowed some companies to see user friend data even after changes in its 2014 and 2015 platform that would limit what developers could see. In another correspondence, it was shown that Facebook had made it as hard as possible to inform its users that Facebook would be collecting users' call and text message log data on Android platforms. Android is what most smartphone companies utilize as a base operating system. It was also revealed that Facebook was cherry-picking in which apps and companies would be whitelisted to grant permission to access user data. This would allow app developers to see if their friends were using the same application. Facebook was also intentionally blocking the Vines API, which is a competitor's short six-second video sharing service. This was revealed in one of Mark Zuckerberg's email, in which he gave permission to his vice president and said, yep, go for it. And regarding data leaks dating back to 2012, Mark Zuckerberg was also quoted as saying, it's not at all clear to me here that we have a model that will actually make us the revenue we want at scale. I'm getting more on board with locking down some parts of the platform, including friends data and potentially email addresses for mobile apps. I'm generally skeptical that there is as much a data leak strategic as you think. I think we may leak info to developers, but just can't think of any instances where that data has leaked from developer to developer and caused a real issue for us. And as you can see, he was struggling off the potential that there would be any major data breach, and his lazy attitude seems to have come back to bite him in the you-know-what. But will this spell out the slow demise of Facebook as people start leaving it for greener pastures? Let me know what you think in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this media channel short. Thank you for joining me today. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel using the watermark in the bottom right corner and click the bell notification icon to receive updates when a new video is released.